The following video contains material owned and created by Rooster Teeth. Before watching this video, please support the official release. The link is in the description below. Thanks dudes. What up, B geeks and dudes and dudettes? My name is DB Geek and welcome back to another episode of Let's Watch Ruby. All right, dude. So before I hop into the next chapter of Ruby, I just want to send a quick message out there. The winner of the B Geek giveaway, Karina. If you're watching this video, I need you to contact me as soon as possible. Down in the description, there's my Facebook page for DB Geek. You can actually message me on that, private message me on that. And so I can get your shipping address so I can actually send these gifts out to you. Um, because it's been a while now since I've done the Big Geek giveaway. And the other prizes are already on their way to the other winners. And so I just kind of want to get this as over to you as soon as possible. And my plan was to get all these prizes across to you guys before Christmas. And um, I haven't had no word from Karina yet. So it's a little bit concerning. I don't know whether this person has found out that she's the winner. She or he, I'm not sure if it's, I'm guessing it's a she by the name, but if any of you guys know who this person is or anything, try tweet her or something to let her know that she did actually win the Biggie giveaway and I just want to send it out to her as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to wait another week or so. If there's still no, you know, reply from her or anything from her, I'm going to have to re-pick a winner for this awesome prize because it's a shame for this just to be left here. It's right behind me. The stuff is literally just sitting there and I want to send it out to you as soon as possible. So please, Karina, if you're watching, message me down on my Facebook page. I'll be more than happy to start sending this stuff out to you as soon as possible. But anyway, dudes, welcome back to another episode of Ruby. We are super hyped for this episode because we've had a little break. We've had a bit of a Ruby break um, from the previous episode. Now, the previous episode was absolutely fantastic because we got the triumphant return of Yang, my Super Saiyan goddess Yang. She is back. She is ready to train with Tai Yang. And, you know, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what this episode is about. We're on chapter 5. And yes, like I did say, I was planning on doing a review on the first five chapters of Ruby. Ruby? <laughs> Ruby. So stay tuned for that, dudes. I don't know when exactly I'll have that up, but I'll try to get it up as soon as I can. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited for this. So dudes, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. So without further ado, let's watch Ruby. All right, dudes. So here it is. Ruby, volume four, chapter five, entitled Menagerie. Let's get straight into it, dudes. Here we go. Boom. Okay. I hear a boat. Now, Blake and um, Son were the thumbnail. So I think this could be focusing on them. Possibly going to get to see Blake's family, finally, which is going to be so incredible. I can't wait. Okay, here we go. I can't get over Blake's new um, outfit. I think it's absolutely awesome looking. She looks so badass. Oh, wow, it's like a marketplace. I fucking love marketplaces. I was actually at one the other day, a Christmas one. I love marketplaces. I think they're awesome. <laughs> never seen so many faunas in one place. Oh yeah, oh my god, I can't believe I never even noticed. Can feel safe, no matter who or what they are. All the faunas together. Wow. That's awesome. Whoa, look at him. Sure is uh crowded, huh? Yes. Yes it is. Oh my god. I'm actually going to Comic Con in May next year in London. Is it I always I wonder how many people are going to be dressed up as the Ruby well, characters. When you try and take an entire species and put them on an island that's two thirds desert, yeah, it tends to be cramped. What? You guys have that much more space? Whoa. Why waste it? A little desert never hurt anyone. It's not like the desert in Vacuo Sun. The wildlife here is more dangerous than most of the regions. Oh, really? So they gave us a terrible island in the corner of Remnant to try and shut us up. That's pretty much. A pretty good summary, yeah. Huh. As I was saying, yeah. So I'd wonder how many people are going to be dressed up as these characters. I mean, before, I'm sure I've seen these characters when I was at con comic conventions, but had no idea who they were cosplaying. Is cool. 
Wow! Look at that! That's beautiful! It's beautiful. That's what I said! <laughs> I take it all back. This place looks great! Why would anyone ever want to leave? That's not the point, son. We asked to be equal, to be treated just like everyone else. Instead, we were given an island and told to make do. So we did the best we could. We came together and we made a home where any faunas could feel welcome. Oh, it's so nice, though. But, but there is a lot island, of people there. This town will always be a reminder that we're still not equal. That we're still second-class citizens. I just noticed there, does Sun have the hole in his belt? Because his tail is going straight this through it. <laughs> you guys can go back and pause it and check for me because I'm nearly sure I've seen his tail coming through his belt. Oh, yeah? Which one's yours? Can you see oh, it this yours? is awesome. Kind of. It's like Sun's yeah. gonna meet the parents. <laughs> what about that tiny one down there? I like the paint job. <laughs> oh, look at this! That one. This is kind of. The first kind of physical contact that they have with one another. They're getting very close now. <laughs> He's just like, what? It's so huge! Oh my god, that house is beautiful. Oh my god, I feel like I'm talking too much. I'm so sorry, dudes. I'm excited to watch this episode. It's been a while, you know? What is it? I, um... It's just been a long time since I've seen my parents. Oh, I wonder how long. Well... Came all this way. Come on, Blake. That's a big ass door, dudes. Even Sun's like, whoa, okay, that was honest, loud. That's kind of intimidating. <laughs> oh! Oh! Blake? Oh, she's beautiful. Hi, mom. Oh, yes, confirmed. Blake's mom. Oh my god, she looks like her older sister. Baby girl. Oh wow, I don't think she was expecting that kind of a reaction. Oh, here's Papa. Oh! Oh, he's so cool! Oh my god! He's got the hairy chest on exposed and everything. Oh, they're both happy to see her. We were horrified when we heard the news. The Kingdom of Vale wasn't perfect, but it certainly didn't deserve what happened. Oh my god, I love the character designs. Holy moly, that's Ladies, awesome. I knew she'd be fine. That isn't the slightest bit true. You should have seen him pacing. You guys have nothing to worry about. I've seen your daughter in action before, and trust me, she's got some moves. <laughs> Not the best thing to say in front and of the what parents. what exactly do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, well, you see, sir, it's just that, you know, she's such a good fighter and all. Uh, and uh, as a fellow fighter, I have a lot of respect. Why is he here again? <laughs> he just kind of followed me home. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Definitely above average. Not the best for first I mean, impressions, son. Uh, just, just shut up. Uh, I'd shut up right now. Tea? This tea is really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. I like him. Mom. Darn it, I completely forgot about the meeting. Gira. Oh, there's a meeting. Give me a moment. Gira. That's his name, Gira. That's cool, like Bagira from the Jungle Book. That's Is awesome. Okay. Yes, dear, just poor timing. He can reschedule. It's just been hard dealing with them lately. Dealing with who? Hmm? The white thing. Oh, what? what? Dad! Blake, what's wrong? Miss Belladonna, we had no idea you'd returned. What are the what white are you fang? doing talking to these people? This is Corsic and Fennec Albay. They represent the white fang here in Menagerie now. Those psychos are here too? Uh oh. Young man, I'm not sure what you've heard of our organization. But I can assure you we're not nearly as ferocious as the media would have you believe. What we've heard? We've seen firsthand. Yeah. The fanatics slaughtered people. What is she talking about? Uh-oh. Precisely what we came to discuss with you, your grace. Kira is not impressed. Is right? He's so intimidating. Wait, you guys seriously don't know? Oh my god. No. 
They're completely clueless from everything that's going White on. Gang was at the fall of Beacon. They attacked innocent civilians and they released Grimm into the school. Uh oh. Even this white this fang have no idea what she's talking about. Maybe they Sadly, do. Sadly, Your Grace. What do you do? It is. Don't act like that's you're... enough. Uh oh oh uh, oh uh, oh. Uh. Explain yourselves. Papagira is not impressed. Though it pains us to admit, it has become apparent that the Vale branch of the White Fang is no longer operating under orders of High Leader Khan. Rather, they've elected to follow the rule of one. Adam Torres. Oh! I think you're all familiar with the young adept and his extreme philosophies. They're all gone rogue. You know, it wasn't the first time the Fang started shooting up Vale. The High Council had their suspicions of a splinter group, but they could prove nothing until this latest incident. Incident? People are Died. dead. Yep. And it is a tragedy. Your Grace, we oh. came to assure you that Brother Taurus and his followers do not represent the will of the White Fang. Oh my god. I don't How know if I should I believe be them. Sure of that? Yeah! Oh my god, he's so scary. <laughs> you bear skepticism towards these claims. Could you imagine going to pick up a girl that you liked? Admittedly more and <laughs> he answered the door. High leader ...and became chieftain of menagerie. But this, this is no way to make our message heard. We have ample documentation from the council meeting, as well as several strategies to apprehend and punish these strays, if you'd care to review them. I will. But another day. I'd like some time to reconnect with my daughter. Aww. But of course, Your Grace. We completely understand. Look how defined the character it designs are now. It, again, it surprises me we every episode. When we heard of your departure from the White it's Fang. come such a long way, you know? understand if you can no longer support our cause it is a wearying fight after all who says i'm done fighting Ooh. Hmm. if you ever do wish to return you need merely to come find us sister Ilya would be elated wow. goodbye gentlemen yep see you later dudes <laughs> i love the dad and so the mom the mom is beautiful <laughs> I really don't like you. <laughs> well, at least you're on the mom's side. These dudes An are so suspicious. Development, wouldn't you say? Interesting indeed. So, shall we inform Brother Adam? <gasps> Knew it! They, shall. they cannot be trusted, though pieces of crap. What's going on here now? Oh! Uh oh! I was hoping you could help me find someone. Oh no! Oh no! He's after her! Oh shit! Oh! Goddamn cliffhangers! I hate them! We hit them! Alright, dude, so that ends that episode. Okay, I'm gonna turn up this light a little bit. Um, God, my head is very shiny in this light. But, um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. The one thing that I really enjoyed about this episode was the introduction to Blake's parents. First impressions Blake's mom is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if they mentioned her name, I could have missed it. But the dad's name is Gira, and I don't know if that's named after Bagheera from the Jungle Book, which would be a coincidence because Bagheera is, uh, you know, he's a Black Panther, or uh, oh, I can't remember the actual term for him, but I don't know if that's based on that, um, you know, that character, but that would be so cool if it was, but Jesus, dude, this was an awesome episode. Um, there were some funny moments with Son. There are always funny moments with Son because he's the comedic character in this entire series. And it's kind of cool that he's met her parents. It's kind of like he's already in there. Like he's already in there with the mom. The mom likes him. But the dad, not, <laughs> not very impressed by him. But I'm sure he will grow to love him over time. But uh, the development of what's going on right now is getting intense. I mean, the fact that... The White Fang are actually there as well is, is crazy. And not only that, 
but Blake's parents are completely oblivious on what was going on in the background. And now, like I said, they, those two dudes could not be trusted whatsoever. They're in on it, and now they're going to tell Adam that she is back, which is... Which is shit. <laughs> but now, as well as that dude, the cliffhanger of this episode is that, um... What's his face? Oh my god, I forgot his name. Oh no, I'm so excited, I forgot his name. But anyway, he's on hot pursuit of Ruby. Um, he said he was going to be taking her down. I don't know if he's going to try to kill her or is he going to try to kidnap her. But now he is on her tail. So this is going to be... This is going to be interesting. The next episode is going to be really, really interesting. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end my reaction here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Watch Ruby. If you did enjoy, dudes, please don't be afraid to give it a like, a thumbs up, and that'd be super awesome. And if you want to join me on a daily basis for reaction videos, gameplay, vlogs, and much, much more, it's very simple. What you need to do, and that sting that subscribe button, and that'd be super awesome also. And as always, dudes, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you, dudes, in my next video.